Manchester by the Sea is up for best film and is, is nominated for six awards actually, mm -hmm. the BAFTAs this year. And it's, I think, one of the most heartbreaking films I've ever seen. I, you know, left it in, in floods of tears and I thought the performances were incredible. Casey Affleck, Michelle Williams, um, but actually director Kenneth Lonergan, it's kind of, it's his movie first and foremost. It's very much his movie and I think what's interesting about it is the fact that it's a movie that only really got made on the guarantee of Matt Damon. I mean, Kenneth Lonergan has had a kind of checkered career, mm -hmm. very respected playwright, but in movies, you know, Margaret was the last movie that he made, which was this kind of, it was like a cursed film. It's a great, great movie, but it had this very, very difficult life and, you know, and very few people saw it. And Kenneth Lonergan was I wouldn't say a dead man in Hollywood, but certainly I think his name provoked raised eyebrows. The backstory to the movie is fascinating, and I think it says something about the way the film industry works, that Kenneth Lonergan found it this difficult mm -hmm. to actually be able to direct this film. I have certain issues with the movie, but I still think it's an astonishing achievement, and so much of that astonishment is down to Lonergan. The problem with Kenneth Lonergan is, in Hollywood, is that he's not a Hollywood director. The film doesn't kind of follow the necessary story arcs that a Hollywood movie would do. It's almost... This is probably a curse word in Hollywood. It's almost kind of French. You know, the French do this sort of stuff yeah. where nothing really very much happens or whatever the, the great drama is actually happened in the past. The puzzle is to find out what that drama was and how that is affecting this person in the present. For me, it's a, a great character study of this character, Lee, played by Casey Affleck, who's sort of stuck, frozen like the, the winter earth around him in, in Massachusetts. And he won't change. The drama in this film, ultimately, that we watch in front of our eyes is incremental. It's like, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm going to move on a little bit. And we're all supposed to kind of go, oh, and we do. I mean, the, the little goes a very long way in this film. It, it, most of it is in the past, and, and that's the sort of brilliance of it. It's the sort of structure of it, the flashbacks of it. And I think, uh, for me, Casey Affleck is, is a leading contender uh, for the performance, but also the screenplay here mm -hmm. is, is so unusual and delicate that for me it's a real writerly job. There's some great scenes in it. He creates great moments of emotion, but only by sort of contrasting them with the real humdrum. It hinges on this one moment, mm. which we, can't, again, can't really talk about because mm. of spoilers if people haven't seen the movie yet, but you're right, the relationships in this as well are so fascinating because it is essentially about a man and his nephew, which is a relationship that isn't really explored that much in Hollywood. We see, you know, children and parents often, but that dynamic shifts ever so slightly, and I think it's a very important shift in this movie. Yeah, it's not about a man and a child, it's about a man and a teenage boy and 16-year-old yeah. boys. They're spikier characters, you know, they're, they're, if they're real, they're laws unto themselves. And Lucas Hedges, who is nominated for Rising Star, yeah. he has fun br drawing out that kind of, that really willful, bloody-minded yes. individuality and orneriness, if that's a word, mm -hmm. you know, and he is, he's like a he stumbling impresses. block in the film, you know, yeah. in the best sense. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, absolutely. He is very impressive. And despite, you know, not having a huge amount of experience, and you're right, I mean, really one to look out for in terms of a rising star. He's a kind of violent character, this Lucas Hedges, and we, we kind of learn that Casey Affleck, we, we see him in bars starting brawls mm -hmm. for no reason. They're very, very close to each other, and yet they kind of clash in almost the magnetic poles of art. You have this 16-year-old kid, and actually in many ways he's not very lovable, as 16-year-old no. kids of either sex generally aren't, you know, and I think the movie doesn't make any bones about that. And it's part of, yeah, it's part of what I like about the movie and respect about the movie hugely is how honest it is. It is honest about the fact that arcs don't always work in real life, and obviously Hollywood narratives is all about the arc, all about the journey. Journeys sometimes don't go from here to here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't appear to go anywhere at all, and life is kind of the stuff which happens to you. And on the surface, you can be much the same person at the end of it, but it's about those subtle little differences. That's where it's all, that's where, that's where life really is. It's like the devil is in the detail. And that's what Kenneth Lonergan is so good at. The editing, I think, has a, you know, a real kind of a character onto itself because like you're saying about the structure of it mm. and the fact mm. that it does, it's not, you know, a continuous storyline and the fact that we find out things, it never really lingers on uh, any kind of tragic moment. You know, we have these moments and they're kind of fleeting and then they're gone and then we move on as we do in life. And I think the editing has got a great deal to do with that. It's a very kind of contained movie. In many ways, it's the most theatrical mm -hmm. of the nominees for Best Film because Lonergan does come from theatre and his way of, it's not that it looks stagey, but Lonergan has a specific way of working with his actors where he will rehearse them as a stage director will do so before they got on set before any cameras rolled they had rehearsed for weeks and they knew their characters they knew their dialogue which is very precise inside out mm -hmm. so it doesn't have that that kind of we mentioned loosey-goosiness in another chat I mean there is very little loosey-goosiness going on here it's very precise and very specific and very theatrical there's also a lot of acting in this movie a lot of yeah. good acting but there's a lot of acting and I think there are moments when you think maybe it's a little studied. Do you think it's a bit contrived? Because I know that is a criticism of this film, and like I say, you know, left in floods of tears, but I was supposed to leave in floods I of tears. I think some of, the, some of the, the moments are contrived. I think the film kind of 
plods along quite nicely mm -hmm. because it's building up to this a chance meeting in the street between Michelle Williams uh, and Casey Affleck, which is, of course, probably the standout minute of film this yeah. year. You know, that's your Oscar clip right there. Yeah. Michelle Williams is, is extraordinary in that moment. But it's a moment that this, you feel it's just happened, but of course it's kind of the, the great climax of the movie and it's been worked on and thought about very much. And I, I sort of felt the artifice behind it, that, although I did believe in bits from that moment. But they knew it was the big scene and because they kept actually putting it off and throughout the whole way through the shoot, that scene kept being dropped off and they were going to do it in another couple of days mm -hmm. and it, it was next week because everyone involved knew what they were dealing with emotionally with that scene. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, Jason's right. I mean, I think that there is an element. You can't avoid that. Do you think it's a BAFTA-winning movie, Manchester by the Sea? I certainly think if you're going against your, your, your social realist, I, Daniel Blakes, or you're going against the musical, you, you want to go for something that's traditionally a bit more kind of, you know, wallowy or, mm -hmm. or, or Indian spirit, then yes, I think that, that people will flock to it, as, as, as we've said. You know, there's a lot of theatre in there, there's a lot of acting in there, there's a lot of craft in there, there's a lot of skill in there, for God's sake. You know, it is, it, it feels really sort of disingenuous to kind of say that, you know, these moments are studied because that's what that you go for. It's like movie. sort of saying, you know, to be or not to be. They, they thought, he's clearly thought about that. That's not off the cuff. You know, it is a big moment. Uh, and it just feels to me slightly old fashioned. Again, it's a personal preference. I think there are, there are movies which have the same amount of emotional heft to them mm -hmm. and also are celebrations of cinema itself and actually sort of push cinema forward. And I don't think Manchester by the Sea does that. If I went to see it at the theatre, I mm -hmm. would think it was a really good night out at the theatre. I'm not sure that should be a BAFTA winner, yeah, personally. Interesting. I thought it was very challenging and emotional and gorgeous, but who knows? Join us on the 12th of February and find out who the winners are.